Oh, hey, Remy. Do you know if... What are you doing there? Are you... Are you recording me? You are, aren't you? Whatever for? <sighs> really? Because I hypnotized you that one time? Look, I came to you, you said yes, I needed someone to practice Ericksonian hypnosis on, I don't see what the big deal was. Nah, I barely left any suggestions in that little head of yours. You consented. I didn't see what the big problem was. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean to have a look again? No, 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 please don't lie to me. <laughs> I don't want anything. Oh, well, I maybe was kind of hoping you'd let me hypnotize you again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were right. Big fucking deal. Anyway, the professor was really impressed with my work, especially on the practical. She offered me to let me do hypnosis as a thesis subject. I can't start the right way, but... Uh, I still think I need to practice a bit. And, you know, I thought I'd ask you to help me with the experimental part. I would have a great idea for the first trial, too. Oh, come on, please. You've already did it once. It won't be any different. <laughs> well, of course I can't tell you what I'm going to try. How would... That would influence the results. How would we be sure that it worked or you just gave yourself a placebo? Oh, you should have known when you helped me out with the psych experiments before. <laughs> Come on, please. You enjoyed it last time, didn't you? I know you did. Mm. Tell you what. If you let me do it again, I'll... Mm, make dinner for you. Tomorrow. You can even keep recording me if you like. Just make sure I don't do anything funny. So you don't trust me now, hmm? You want what? Excuse me? You want me to make dinner for the entire week? Just for a year? What? Are you f <sighs> All right. All right. Fine. Deal. <laughs> you drive a hard bargain, you know. But thank you. Right. Let's do this then. Go ahead. Lie down your bed. Make yourself nice and comfortable. No, 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 no. We're doing it right now. Come on. No time like present. Chop, chop. <laughs> Good boy. And just lie down on your back or on your side. As you like. Nice and comfy? <laughs> Good. And just close this eyes to me and relax. Just listen to my voice. Follow my instructions, and you'll be in a trance before you know it. And just take a deep breath in, and hold it, hold it, and let it out. Very good. Let's do it again. Ready? Take another deep breath in. And hold it. One, two, and let it out. Perfect. Now you keep breathing. I'm going to be describing some things to you. And telling you to look at certain things. I'd like for you to try and picture those things in your mind. And it's great if you can actually see what I'm telling you to see. But it's completely fine if you don't too. <laughs> and just imagine... That you do instead. Or even just think about it. What it would be like if you did. Think you can do that? <laughs> Good. And just lie back. Listen to my words. Ignore everything else you can hear. Just focus on my voice. It's late in the evening. And you're going for a walk. You're following a small path, winding through a beautiful forest. You look around you, and as you walk, you 
Take in the sights around you. Tall trees with mossy trunks. Their branches swaying gently in barely noticeable breeze. You see ferns growing here and there on the ground. You listen to the sounds of the leaves rustling in the wind. To the sound of the birds chirping away. And to the sound of my voice keeping you company on your trip. Guiding you along. You take a nice deep breath. Filling your lungs. Ah, the air is fresh and clean. It smells wonderful. You feel completely calm and completely at ease. It feels just so good to clear your head. And just walk without a care in the world. You watch the evening sun filtering through the trees, bathing the world in a warm golden glow. And then you see something peculiar, a hint of something blue, a soft blue light somewhere among the trees. Fading in and out of view as you keep walking along the path. It's intriguing, and you decide to try and get a better view of what it is. You step off the path and walk deeper into the forest, making your way towards the light. And then there you see it a glowing, gorgeous blue ball of light floating in the air. A ghostly, flickering flame. You watch it for a moment, fascinated in awe by what you're seeing. And as you stare at it, the little flame drifts away from you, disappearing deeper into the forest. And you follow it. You follow it as it bobs and weaves between the trees. Following past this gorgeous, luminous blue light. Always staying just out of your reach. Always going deeper into the forest. And you follow the light. You follow it as it leads you deeper and deeper. And just like you follow my voice. Deeper and deeper. Completely on autopilot. Without thinking without hesitation, you follow, you follow the light, you follow my voice, going deeper and deeper, letting that light guide you, letting my words guide you deeper, and just doing what I tell you, obeying my words, I tell you to follow the light, and you follow, I say to breathe in, and you breathe in, and now. It's so easy, isn't it? So pleasant. When you don't have a care in the world, when you don't have anything you need to do, when you don't need any form of control, when all you have to do is just listen and follow. All you care about is the light and my voice. Keep going deeper. Breathe in. And you keep walking along, listening away, and following. You keep obeying, keep going deeper until finally you emerge from the forest into a large clearing. There's grass all around you, and a beautiful lake ahead of you, bathed in moonlight. It fills you with a sense of peace, a sense of calm. The light is nowhere to be seen, but that's all right, because I'm still here, and my voice is still with you. We're in a place where there's just you and me, a place somewhere deep inside this forest, deep inside your mind. I tell you to lie down in this clearing, and you do. You don't even think about it, because it's so easy to listen to me. So easy to follow my instructions. So easy to just simply obey me. Yeah, 
everything's so easy when you don't think. When you only have to listen and obey. It's simple, easy, to just be so obedient. And you're so wonderfully deep in trance right now that every word I say to you just sinks directly into your mind. So listen and obey. You will always obey me. When I tell you to do something, you will do it. When I give you a command, you obey. Like a good boy. Like a good pet. Because I say so. Because your mind is mine. Do you understand? Just not. Good. Now I want you to open your eyes. Open your eyes. And look into mine. Look deeply into my eyes and listen. When I tell you to do something, you do it without hesitation. You obey. Because you just simply can't resist my voice. You can't resist these eyes. You don't need to. You don't want to. It feels so nice just to give in. And let me take control. No, no, don't speak. Just mouth the words. Look into my eyes. And tell me you obey. Mm, good boy. Good pet. That's right, you obey. Whenever I tell you to do something, you do it. You don't even think about it. Mm, because pets don't need to think, do they? Good boys and good girls don't need to think. Mm, because it's so easy and it just feels so right. And because you simply can't help yourself. Mm, it's in your nature. You must obey. Look into my eyes and tell me when I give you an order, what do you do? <laughs> Mm, that's right. Very good then. Well then. Wake up. <laughs> so, do you think it worked? My professor said I can't make you do anything you don't want to. This is a mind control. <laughs> oh. Let's put that to the test, shall we? Hey now, don't be mad. Relax, it's just an experiment. We're just doing this for science, <laughs> for my thesis. Don't worry, I'll put you back the way you were. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> anyway, don't worry about it. Just obey. Look at me. We're only doing an experiment. This is safe. You're safe here. It's a controlled situation. <laughs> you don't need to resist me at all. More that you possibly could, but still... Don't even try. Just give in, obey. Good. Mm, now pick up your phone. Unlock it. And give it to me. <laughs> well, it looks like that worked pretty well to me. You're always so protective of that thing. Hmm. I could just delete your recording now, you know. <laughs> Mm, but why would I do that? Hmm? I don't mind if you know what I'm doing. And I don't mind that you recorded our session. In fact, I'm glad you did, because every time you listen to that recording, <laughs> it's only going to put you deeper and deeper under my control. <laughs> <laughs> Anything worth doing is worth doing well, after all. And that definitely includes brainwashing my roommate into a mindless, obedient pet. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> look into me, look into my eyes, and sink into trance me. <laughs> Good boy. You're going to listen to the recording you're making. But you only do it when you won't be disturbed for a while. And when you do, and the recording finishes, you'll realize that you zoned out, that you didn't really hear the entire thing. So you'll put it on again, and try to listen again, 
and again and again. Mm. Understand? <laughs> mm, good. Then wake up. <laughs> this is amazing. Having you all wrapped around my finger like this. What part time period did we agree on again? A week? <laughs> hey, you insisted on it. Mm. But thank you for being my test subject, Remy. I think we're going to get some really interesting results together. And I'm really curious what my brainwashing will feel like for you. You know, being aware that you have to obey me, yet doing it all the same. I wonder, will you try to rationalise it to yourself? Or will you try and resist it after all? And will that change as you fall deeper and deeper into the spell every single day? <laughs> it's just the first day and I've already got some good research questions. Just so you know, we'll be doing some questionnaires and interviews every day. Keep tracking all that. <laughs> well, the boring, mandatory stuff too, like making sure you're okay anyway. <laughs> we can wait until tomorrow for the first one. Unless you really need to do a follow-up now already. No? All good? <laughs> Great. Mm, I guess I might spend some more time on this than you. We're counting on, but it's not like you have a choice anymore. And I'll be sure to mention you in my acknowledgements as the goodest boy to make up for it. <laughs> <sighs> mm, but I'm going to call it a night. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Rumi. <laughs> oh, and don't forget to listen to your recording. You know, to make sure I didn't mess with your memory. <laughs> Would I ever? Would I really? Come on. <laughs> Good night.